And we've been on this subject of communication for a while now and yeah. we want to go deeper probably and see how far we can go. So get your pen and your paper, get a cup of tea, get a glass of salt, glass of juice mm -hmm. or a mug of uji or your dinner. And get ready for this thing called marriage. marriage. And we are very sure that as you're watching, let's hope that you're watching with your spouse, yes. your babe, yeah. your boo-boo, boo -boo, boo -boo, bobo, <laughs> babe, all of them together so that we can have this program and we're very sure you're going to get blessed. Yeah. And as always, as we say that today is going to be a fantastic, fantastic um, program. And tonight we are discussing, we are talking about Communication Com part three. Communication part three. Mm -hmm. We have been on communication like the whole of this month. Yes. And so today we are doing... Matter of fact, we began in the last uh, uh, week of, of, of June. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we are in the third part of communication. Yes. Mm -hmm. Straight to the program today. Mm -hmm. We are going to talk about seven effective communication skills for couples. Seven, ikizungunayo, seven effective skills for couples. Seven, communi seven communication skills. Yeah. Seven communication skills for couples. Yani, jia saba. Za wato mbo mbo wana kuongea. Kuzungumza. Kuzungumza. Hivyo, hivyo. Seven, uh, seven communication skills for couples. Mm -hmm. When you're communicating, how do you communicate? That's Number right. One, let me ask, is talking communication? Yeah, it is. It's part of communication. As long as you're not talking to yourself, if you have a, a second party, you're communicating. I think it's part of communication. What? Talking? Yes. It There's is. verbal and inverbal communication. Yeah, true. Yeah, so mm -hmm. talking is part of communication. Mm -hmm. So, and the thing is this. Whether somebody is quiet or not, they are communicating. Yeah. They're saying something. Saying something. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. what they call it. The, the, we call it the eye language, the body language, the tone of the voice. All those are communication. But we're going to show you how do you communicate effectively. Because last time we said there's a way you can communicate mm -hmm. and you end up spoiling the communication. Yeah. You end up spoiling uh, the whole thing. Yeah, we know? began very well. I think they should... Uh, Follow the, the, the parts, part one. Yeah. Then uh, go to part two. Mm -hmm. Then now we are, I think, wrapping up on it or somehow getting yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on this part three. And then we are very sure you can get all this on our, on, on our YouTube channel. That's right. And then you're very sure you're going to be blessed. Mm. So as people are talking, as, as, as couples are living together and they have to, you know, at, you cannot live together and not communicate. True. You cannot live together <coughs> and not have, a, a, you know, a very buoyant communication. Mm -hmm. So you need to understand how do we communicate. Yeah, effectively. Um, yeah, I want to pass out a message. I want to say something. How mm -hmm. do I say it? Yeah. How do I bring it out? It's very, very important. Mm -hmm. And so one of the ways we communicate is a not body language, is a, a note that body language is a non-verbal communication. Mm -hmm. That means even if somebody is not talking, but look at their body language. Yeah. The way uh, they, 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 they behave, especially your mama. Mm -hmm. In the way their body reacts, and when you do mama, and on their kid, I'm from Domo, I'm, she has pulled their mouth, you know, she, they, they, are, they, are, you know there are some, some two things that shows that um, women are communicating. She's not talking, she's moody, banging the doors. That, that's communication. Yeah, ni tula zima usemewa. Ah, ni ukweli. Women who from Domo. It's part of communication. So, wababa, butangi mdomo, wale kwa zwa wana mnyamaza sikuzi one month. They become... <laughs> yeah, so uh, a body language is a nonverbal form of communication. Communication. Mm -hmm. So you may be seated, uh, and I'm talking, or we are having a communication, and there's a way your body can be saying that you're not agreeing, or you don't like, or whatever you're saying, you're boring by your body language. Yeah. Okay, either by your eyes rolling, either by you having, uh, you know, several body movements, you shaking your legs and all that. So for any couple to have a, an effective communication, they should be able to check on their body language. Do you mean that when some, some people are talking, they should be as stiff as, 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 no. as a ruler? Just know that your body language can, can, send, can send a bad message. That's my question. Yeah. So when people are communicating, how do you see it? How you do don't you... have to be still, but of you course, go, ah. you don't have now to be still, but there's a way you can be so uneasy until as, your eyes are rolling. 
Okay. Your eyes are rolling like those ones of uh, whatever you're saying I don't agree with. Okay? But do, do your mouth is pulled. Those ones of you're irritating. Women can sometimes overinterpret. What? Overinterpret body No, 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 no. You know, if, if body language is not a thing for women. It is not a school that women go to do a study. No, on. it's inborn. It's inborn. No. They have it from the day they were born. No, no, no. As no, long no, as no. you're feminine. Body you're language, as long as you have a body, you have a body language. <laughs> Unless men are spirits. Ah. Yeah, unless you want to say that men are spirits. Then, let's, 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 at the end of the day, you will see them sitting like this. And then you know, they lean back and someone is rolling, rolling their hands like as if they are itchy. You know, that's a body language. That will tell you this guy is an easy or whatever you're talking about. Nyamaza. No. Ama Malizia. Ama Malizia. But someone who is comfortably seated like we are. And we are communicating, right? Like you know, you're moving. Everybody's like my, yeah, my, my hands are moving. So what do you But do? see now, <laughs> it's a body language. It's a, it's a way of communication. So I should read it No, wow, wow, unasumbua. Okay, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> unasumbua. Ona. Now the communication is like now there is ease. You're you're mm -hmm. at ease. I'm at ease. I'm expressing myself maybe with my hands to bring out my point more clearer or home. Mm -hmm. So. Body language can be positive and can be negative. So what we are talking about here is that your body language should be, for you to have an effective communication, your body language should be a positive body language. What is a positive body language? Like now what I'm saying. You're Sit still, 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 be calm. Is this part of body language? Still. Body language, bo that is not body language, that really? is abuse. No. What are you pointing? But you see body language. Yeah, That's not a body language. That is now you're becoming now offensive to whoever you're pointing. Body language is what you do with your body that is bringing out a communication quietly, non-verbally. Can it? Can, is there a point where you get and it becomes unconscious? Yes. You can do it unconscious. Yes. Very many people, matter of fact don't know that they are like now for instance eh, you could be in in a in a, in a very uh professional meeting mm -hmm. and your legs are shaking there are people who are just used to shaking their legs yes. that person in 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 actual sense as you're reading their body language is they have a certain tension anyone who has that tendency of shaking their legs Akona, ayuko hapo, the guy is not present or the woman is not present. There is something running in their mind that is making their body anxious, so they are not still. Okay? That is part of psychology and counseling. You get to understand these of you two who condani. So, someone who is in a, in a, in a professional meeting, a, a, a board meeting, and someone who is calm, their legs are crossed, that tells you that this person is still. This person is calm. But this the... person is... Um, you know, at a point whereby they are ready to uh, 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 pick receive. or receive whatever is being spoken of in the meeting. I also believe they, they, they say that if somebody is touchy, that you say they love themselves. Touchy. Touchy, they, maybe they are... They are, they are, they are touchy body, body, body language. There are, <laughs> there are people you talk, you find they are, they are like... Touchy. I am. It's a sign of this person is, you know, they are in need of love or they are... Very affectionate. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah. I learn from you now. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Learn, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. So, but non, but, but non-verbal communication. Yeah, body language yeah, is non-verbal. Yeah. yeah. And and there are people. Me, my 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 thought is, you should not interpret it before you ask. Because, as you have said, some of those body languages uh, uh, are unconscious. And, Someone and, is not conscious of what they are doing. And so at that point, you should let the person, are you okay? Why are you so touchy? Mm. They will tell you, uh, my, my mind is just drifting. Eh? Mm. What are you touch? As, in, as you said, eh? somebody is just uh, touching their, their oh, themselves. Oh, no, just... You find they are poking their nose. Ah, no, that's... <laughs> no, it's hey, only hey. language. It's, it's, it's verbal, non-verbal hey, How do you do that? You're a child. There are people, you're talking to them, they have to like this. Eh? That's, yeah. that's, 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 those are small, small behaviors. But that's not a body language. Can no, you really, say, can you... That, can, that's a body reaction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's something that... Body it language, is, it's, 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 it's like you're talking to a lady yeah. as you start doing... Ta, on her knees. Yeah. Moving whatever they remove there. Yeah. Yeah? And then it's just the way you're, start, you're becoming... Nini. No, you will discover mm. that shows you also they are not there. 
they have gone into a this and also place. it could be unconscious Nikki to amazon yes, like now, it's also touching the face yeah is, is someone someone does it at a yuko there are people who even you know poking their nose is just unconscious mm. yeah okay so when 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 couples are talking mm -hmm. they must be careful of the body language yes and, and i think um during communication when there's a, 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 a um an issue when they start like that yeah. what they should do is they should now start they should start talking about uh, as in pools, mm -hmm. get to know what is happening. Yeah. So one of the things that you should understand when you're having a communication is that you should be careful of the body language mm -hmm. because that one communicates a lot. That's right. Yeah. So number two thing that uh, we need to uh, an effective uh, uh, effective way commu uh, communication skills mm -hmm. for couples. And let me just say some of these topics I don't even the, the headlines I don't come with them so if you see me like trying to eat up what she, I'm saying it's because of what <laughs> she's written so number two is do not talk both at the same time that's right many couples when they are matter of fact many couples they talk all of them spontaneously mm. that is wrong yeah because you definitely anger will flare yeah mm -hmm. so when you have your communication mm -hmm. as a couple one person should keep quiet for the other person to talk yeah, uh -huh. especially for men, men men do not have that capacity of of handling too much, especially when there is a, a heated argument. This is what I've come to learn that uh, the heart rate of a man in a heated co communication is usually very fast. Okay, while that one of a woman can be calm. Mm -hmm. So that is why you will find uh, in, in a heated argument, the woman will want to handle that thing at that particular time. And the man will be like, quiet, I don't want, I can't take this away. Quiet. Because at that time, the heart rate is, his heart rate is pumping. It's very high. It's very high. And the woman's is like, no, I mean, I'm okay. Let's handle it now. You see, that's the difference that a couple should, mm. should be able to understand. There is, a, to a certain extent, a man can't take it anymore. anymore. And if you don't give him that room to either walk out or go, the next thing is a slap. Amangumi, because he can't handle it. Now the body is already, is already reacting towards it. So that, that's another, another form of when you're talking as a couple to avoid that uh, moment of uh, mother, you know, mori meanza kupanda, asire meanza kupanda, and all that. What you need to do is mind the other person. Let one person finish talking. You'll talk. They can't talk the whole day. Okay? If not, have a pen and a notebook or a notepad in your phone. Don't do this somebody who say you're, you're not concentrating. No, for me, that has worked for us. So even, even us here, we are giving uh, advice by experience. Okay? And I think that one works very well because you will, have, you will give your whoever is talking ample time to express themselves without having to interject. Of which that interjection is what now brings anger in both, both ways, for the woman and for the man, but especially for the man. Because of their nature, the way they are created. Yeah, and, and, and you, you discover most of the time, um, if if uh, if both of you talk, mm. what will happen is you will not understand what, uh, get to understand what the other pass, uh, uh, person is saying, what the other party is saying. So uh, your wife is talking and you're interjecting, interjecting. You will not get the picture home. You will not get to understand yes. exactly what was she saying. Mm -hmm. So that will make you not have a clear. Um, uh, understanding. understanding of what your partner was saying. That's so right. she's talking, you're talking, and you know, it, and what this is what happens when you do that. You discover you will pick the wrong thing, mm. and in between, you will say the wrong thing. Yeah, you know, so this man will say the wrong thing, and one of the genders will pick the wrong and run with it. Mm. So, what that will do, thank is, you for not pointing fingers. Yes, and those genders will thank God. Mm. They can take one side and they will run with it and they will talk about it. Matter of fact, the game will change from the main issue into something else. Issue, 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 issue. We're to okay, Google. Yes, it's issue, issue. So, no, you know, you know, main agenda. Let's continue from there. Yes, the, yeah. I told you. Now, now I'm trying to explain. This gender, see, see how God ought to reveal the, weak, uh, the, the wicked part of the thing. <laughs> uh, you, see, you see, this gender takes what, the wrong part. Uh, <laughs> no, I just had a word that was wrongly pronounced. No. Okay, let's continue. We'll, we'll confirm after this, it this is program. Well, yeah. So, what happens is you discover that uh, 
you will pick the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. If the man said, that is why you're very annoying. Oh, so I'm annoying. What you're talking about was not even the annoying thing. Mm. But because of the heated argument and this one is talking, this one is talking, you pick the wrong thing. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's very true. So when you're talking, when you're communicating, and especially when it's a sensitive issue, yeah, just let the person finish talking. Let one person talk, then you can talk. If you feel like in between whatever they are saying is touching on you or it's something that you need to uh, put in a word there and then, you can have a notepad on your phone or on an iPad or on your laptop. Or have a pen and a really, paper. Really? Only, so she's talk, you're talking and I'm, I'm typing? I do it myself. I prefer... With a you, pen and a paper. Eh, hey, not iPad. Hey. Most of the time myself, I use a pen and a paper. Just to make sure that I don't interject what he's saying. And also not to forget what I wanted to put yes, as a top-up. Yes, it, it, it's very easy. Yeah. It's very easy for you to forget. And it was an important thing. So when you're communicating, we agree that let one party finish. Yes. And, the, and that talk you... you I, know, I saw you open my phone. So you have a... The, your finger is... Is there anything to hide? Oh. Uh, I didn't know you have a password. <laughs> I must know what you this for. <laughs> and let me talk to men. Men, make sure you have the, all the pin and the password of uh, your wives. I just saw him put a password with his finger on my phone. Uh, live on TV. Because most men are the ones who are caught. <laughs> and, oh, oh. When did you put it? Don't worry. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, while you, while you are sleeping, I macho. I put my eye. Open your eye. I wake up macho. I'm opening with my eyes. Imagine. <laughs> so I know. Hiya. I'm I even surprised. have the Mpesa one. Mm. Yes. I, I, just, hey. I found it. Then now, the one I'm looking for is pin. We will, we will talk about it after this. How you got there. <laughs> Communication. So, no, when you're given... Wow. <laughs> Snooper. Hey, <laughs> Can you okay, I'm trying to help you, but I've seen you help yourself. I'm fine. It Don't is worry, weird. I'm fine. No problem. I'm very okay. <laughs> so, yeah. what needs to happen is you need to make sure. Yeah. When, and let me say this point before you even go for a short break. <laughs> this is the thing. When you're having a communication, and yeah. me, I'm talking again, I'm talking about this other gender. Yeah. When you're having right. a conversation and they've been given time for you to talk, mind, don't talk till eternity. Mm. Eh, yeah. matter of fact, I think when you come to talking, you should be having a timer. Mm. We are one minute. Mm. Mm. Same. Mimi, I told women, and I know I the, they're the time. ones, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're the ones with the challenge of over talking. Of again, of <laughs> course, eh? Because of their nature. Ah, uh, nature. Twenty-five thousand yeah. words over ten thousand words, even fifteen thousand ju. No, no. So you definitely expect them to talk more. So what I usually tell them, if you want to cutter your words as a woman, just have a very deep walk relationship with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will allow you, uh, you'll be a man, is it true, that when you're walking right to the Holy Spirit, you your, words, be your words become few. Yes. You call it? Sasa tumalizie tu hapo. Those who have the Holy Spirit. Those who don't have the Holy Spirit. I think they should have a timer. Yeah, if, if, if the relationship allows. Yes. Because there are people who can talk. Yeah. Bo -bo 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 -bo. If there are people even you, they come to uh, for counseling and they over talk. You know those ones of his like you now they've come to tell you and counsel themselves. It's not right. I had one who, who talked for two hours. Yeah. I'm you, you're not even there. Matter of fact, I already moved to the last person. Mm. Yes. Now listen, that's a second thing you need to do yeah. when you're having communication. You must make sure one person talks. Then we need to understand how do you come to the conclusion of one thing of communication. That's right. Okay, yeah. so it's very important. All right, yeah. we're going for a short break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, welcome back. Every Tuesday we call it... Terrific Tuesday. Yes, we sit on this couch with my wife, my friend, my partner in Christ, and my partner in... Christ. In crime. As we discuss this thing called... This thing called because marriage. Because the marriage is good. Marriage works. If only. If only you work. All right, let's go to the next third point. Um, how do you have uh, effective communication? 
uh, how do you have effective communication whereby you end up getting results in your communication. So mm -hmm. uh, number three is uh, think before you talk. Mm -hmm. Very, very cautious of what you're saying. Very quick, Because very, there, very there, are, there are things you can say mm -hmm. that can be very hurtful. Yes. Yeah, so... Matter of fact, why you should think before you talk is because you may say something that can never be erased, okay? Yeah. That can go deep, deep, deep in, in someone's heart and cause a pain or cause a memory mm -hmm. that, you know, was just by a moment of carelessness. Mm -hmm. So thinking mm -hmm. before you talk is very paramount. And in anger, many people sin. sin. Many and people talk anything, yeah. say anything at, at, the, at the heat of that moment. So thinking before you talk is just as it is. Yes. Fikiria. Because it is, once it has come out, it can never be erased. Yeah. And knowing also this gender, mm. they are very sensitive. So they can keep something for another century. Can you stop finger pointing on I'm gender? Not. I just said this gender. Yeah? You have pointed. Two, no, no, you have said this gender. There are two genders. Mm. Eh, I'm just using body language. Yeah, which is a bad one. No, which one? You know you can, you, you don't have to point I'm not, like I'm this. I'm not pointing. I'm just saying this gender. I didn't measure anybody. It's my hands now. So, what happens defense you... mechanism no <laughs> <laughs> body language defense mechanism it is well so there there's there are certain genders that are very sensitive when it comes to what you say to them they can mm. hold it for years till mm. jesus return mm -hmm. matter of fact that can even make them go not enter heaven yeah because they're feeling oh you know you told me this you told me this which can eventually you know and and there are something something you can say that will make what you're talking about just end there yeah. The whole communication dies there. Yeah. Yeah. You just, mm -hmm. the things just shift. Yeah. So think before you, and, and, and do you know what, eh? That statement many a times is taken as an abuse. Yeah. Yeah. You can kabla uonge. That's Swahili. The way you can say it in Kikuyu, the way you can say it in other languages. Yeah. Okay. So when you're told, no, 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 honey, you need to learn to think before you talk. Take it as it is. Don't think it's abusive. Many times people take it as an abuse. abuse right all right so we are on number five number five number four, number four well how to have effective communication. communication so number four is be respectful mm -hmm. be very respectful yes. what you're saying what you're saying what you're saying be very respectful mm -hmm. make sure don't 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 mention some names yeah you, you're very childish mm -hmm. then you're thinking i don't think you're you're learning mm -hmm. You have a very small brain. Yeah. You're thinking like a child. <laughs> Be careful yeah. about what you say. Be respectful. Yeah. The way you took that thing, you took it like an immature person. Yeah, you're very mature. <laughs> <laughs> immature, that person already is 40. But see, see me, okay, this is me, all right? This is actually how I see things. There is just one word, eh? You don't have always to take words personally. Okay, no. like in, 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 in one state, that could be the only way I can describe what you're doing. No, 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 immature, it, yeah, it, it, as in see, matusi, it's, just a, it's just a description at a point, a certain point. Hey. Like now, you could be you could be behaving like a child, and uh, how do I say it better? When you talk to, eh? when you know you're behaving immature. No, Apana. Hmm? You cannot say you think like a child. You're very mature. <laughs> no, that one is that seriously. An abuse. How, how can you reason like that? <laughs> no, how can you reason like that is not an abuse. It's an abuse. No, it's like. What do you mean I was reasoning how? <laughs> Our reasoning are different. No, 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 no. no. Be matter of fact, yeah. eh? the, that's why we have what we call English terminologies mm -hmm. to find the right. Words. But immaturity is not an abuse. It is an abuse. Uh, uh, You're telling your husband who is 70, you think like a child. Mm. That, that, that no, was, that one is an oh, abuse. That was very childish. Yeah, that one is an abuse. That yeah. was very mature. Yeah. Someone may, may have behaved childish, and you know that the age is not, uh, is not what you define by maturity. So someone could be seven. Age. Yes, could be you could be seventy and you're behaving like a child. Still, yeah. Be respectful. Yeah, for me, uh, respect is is um one and and by how you carry yourself and all that. But in your communication, you need to be very respectful yes. because it can build or break that communication. Yeah. Leave yeah. alone the relationship. Imagine. Yeah, it can it can it can take that communication 
in a very wrong route. And again, this is what I usually say. Don't tell someone what you wouldn't want to be, to be told. told. Don't handle someone in an, an disrespectful way. Yeah. If you're handled like that, would you take it? That's how to put yourself in someone's shoe. shoe yeah. So that you know how they feel if you are the one who had, whom they had done that to or you had done that to, to them. So it's very important to be respectful. Very. Respect is just for everyone respect even is respect yeah even even children need to be, be respected, respected. Respect. how much more your spouse yeah yeah so when you're talking to that person remember that person is an adult yes and they deserve to be respected by the state of being an adult and that also, e that also connotes on even the tone of you, the way you're talking. The no, tone. See, even that one we didn't go even into the depths of that today that's that's another time maybe we will look to that the tone, the, tone. the so many things also entail communication, and yeah. part of it is the tone. The tone, yeah, tone, 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 tone matters. Yeah, and again, yeah. in that how what you do, body language when you with your tone. <laughs> Also can speak respect. Yeah, disrespect. Again, as he's saying, for me, I'll take some words like uh, immature. That was very mature of you. That was childish of you. Eh? For me, it depends on what I'm being told. I will take it. Okay? But again, also, look at whoever you're talking to. Maybe Thank you're you. sensitive. Mm -hmm. no, no, me, me, for, for me, there are some words that are not abusive. That could be, could be meaning my behavior is, is at that particular time is it's childish. Yeah? But all in all, respect. Respect. Make sure there's respect. Yeah. Number five. Number five. How do you have effective communication? Uh -huh. In your communication, make sure you accept that issues can be viewed uniquely. Yes. Issues can be viewed. You see now you've said it the, the right way. The issues. Person. No, 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 no. Today we are going. You know also, <laughs> accept that issues uh -huh. can be viewed uniquely. Yes. Meaning, the way I see things yeah. is not the way you see things. Mm -hmm. So don't try to make me see it your way yes. and don't force it. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Apana. Most mm -hmm. of this, our African gender or this other gender, they have a tendency no, this is what I'm telling you to see. See, see this thing. Mm -hmm. You don't force somebody to see something which is that somebody can see the same thing in a different way and get it in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. You agree? Very true. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that also, uh, you know, connotes the other gender also, because now we are talking, we are trying to be smart here. Let me follow suit. <laughs> so that other gender can tend to think that this other gender does not have brains. That's so, una, una so they Back are are una, you know, like, unaongozwa na vile unafaa kufikiria. So, someone can view something totally very different. Yeah. It doesn't have to, what you're seeing is not, if I see green, it doesn't have to be green to you, could be seeing yellow. The question but is, the this, thing should is, it be respected? It should be respected. Yeah. It should be absolutely respected. And that is what now... So, if I see this thing as, as, not as gold, it's yellow. Yeah. So, you are respected that way. Respect it, but uh, <laughs> even if it is, the, the, the correction has to come... It has to come very politely. Without being forced. No, without being forced. Where come on yellow and the on yellow. The banana go wherever you want to go, it's your problem. Yeah? But as long as if we bring a third and a fourth and a sixth party, this thing is gold. Full yeah, stop. It's not yellow. But at the end of the day, in My communication, eyes. your eyes are soggy. Maybe you're sleepy <laughs> or something happened. So views can be viewed uniquely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. People can view things differently. And that is where now you gauge respect. Okay? I gauge respect as a woman by the way my husband respects what I see. Okay? But, uh, How but, I see it. And you gauge uh, my, my respect to you also when we are communicating on the way I... Oh, so that's how you saw it. Then I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. But what so about the if you view, right? the, the view is... So that's now the point. You should come to a point of consensus. Yeah, yeah. You can't see it see gold. See yellow, ni gold. Then that's, see, then that think, consensus should be reached. Then I think you should bring that gold and the yellow and show me. So yeah. I can see it's yellow. Yeah. Or we go to Google, we see, mm -hmm. show us yellow color. And that and is gold. why I said, if need be, let there be a third, party. A fourth party, I who agree. can be able I to agree. open your eyes 
ndio uone ukorong but on the matter on yeah. the matter Ask, do, respect you yeah, don't force your other partner mm-hmm. to see it your way yeah. you might be wrong mm-hmm. and that is meaning that is controlling that's manipulation manipulation that's control manipulation and control and it's a weep of witchcraft witchcraft you are a yeah. witch in the hiding <laughs> number five. yeah <laughs> very, number very number six very important yeah. how do you have effective communication in your communication make sure you focus on the current issues mm. Focus on the current matter. Yeah. Don't bring the issues of 20, let's go. Mm. You know, you brought something which was, has been there for years. What you do is what is, what is actually happening now. Mm. And you see at that particular point, that's when I start having communication. Yes. Don't talk about something which is not on ground. Yeah. Don't bring something that is not on ground. Mm. Yes. Completely, completely, you need to, um, you said the point was? The point is, focus on the current issues. Focus on the current issues. issues. Current issues. issues. Current issues. issues. And, you know, this is the thing. We usually keep on telling couples that you may start an issue of over this phone. Yeah. But it ends up on you never iron my clothes. Yes. The issue was the phone. Yeah, so true. when you focus on that issue, it helps you not to go out of topic. Mm-hmm. Of which not going out of topic helps you not to have a chain of, you see, of 1920, the day we met, you know, like that. No, it, give me cold food. Yeah, it starts from we were handling, and in that there has to be a prefect. Yes. Okay? Especially and in our, in our own marriage, he's the prefect. Yeah. He's the one who has a She has a own dab. Kuna. Atushikiliangi kwa this thing called marriage. So, uh, that, in our that, own, you you're, the pre- you're, you're the prefect. Wewe ushikiliangi. Wewe unatikanga zako nishikilie, lakini zangu ushikiliangi. Si nimekunini hapa ukakataa, nimekugotea, ukakata. <laughs> yeah. Back to the point. So, back to the issue. <laughs> yeah. So we, are, we, are run, we are coming out of topic. Now, that's the thing. When you want to stay on one point, there should be a prefect. Yes. yes. Someone who is drawing you back. That was no, and you'll find you'll be handling matters, mm. yeah, in less than even 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're done. If there was an underlying issue, look for another day when you can be able to, to bring it up, mm-hmm. but not have a chain of a thousand and one complaints over a topic that began with a phone. Yes, that's wrong, yeah, very key. And, and most couples are having that issue where you find that, um. The man just wanted to bring up an issue that's not there. Mm. And that also shows that there are piled up issues. Yes. If somebody's bringing an issue that's yeah. supposed to be hand, have been handled and they're bringing it up, it shows that this issue is something they want to, you know, somebody else. For me, I look at you're looking for, pro, pro, for yeah, trouble. Yeah, you're, look, you're a troublemaker. Yes. You don't want peace. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, yeah. uh, make sure you uh, it becomes a, a fight fair. Uh-huh. Fight. Fair fight or fair fight, uh-huh. fight fair or fair fight. Uh-huh. You know, make sure fight th- fairly or fa- a uh, fair fight. fight. Yes, uh-huh. make sure you, you know the one who's always winning. Yeah, because they are they are they are certain gender mm-hmm. who believe that they must win. Mm. They must win. Mm-hmm. Yes, whatever they are saying must go. Mm. W- 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 whatever they say is what is to be done. Mm-hmm. That is wrong. Yeah, and others also think that because now. They are the head now, those kind of genders. They think now, uh, now, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely, How can they should always, we no, I have not mentioned anyone. Did I mention How lady? Can I, a lady? I did not Which mention, I did not mention lady. So, uh, I did not mention man. I just said there is another gender that tends to think one? that. They don't do genders. <laughs> There is another gender that, I don't want to mention names that, that you say I'm pointing no, let's fingers. let's ask a question. Yeah. Who is the head? Yes, now because men think that they men know oh, that they are the So that's heads. where you're going. Yes, I didn't want to go direct. So no no when he metoka direct. Okay. So because now men know or think that they are the head. So they want to manipulate everything and they have to win everywhere. <laughs> they don't take correction. They don't take when, when they have messed you up like they can agree. That this one is true, I was wrong. That one now is not a fair fight. At some point, you need as a woman just to accept that, and yeah, I messed you up completely. There, I really messed you up. And as a man, you need to accept and own up that the thing I did truly, truly, I need to apologize. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, that's, that's, hard a, that's a now it's even harder for, well. for, for men because of when it comes to now fighting fairly in the communication, it becomes harder for a man because of their nature. 
they they don't feel like they should at some point you know come low you know they feel that they should always be at the top right up there that is wrong yeah it's it's wrong it should be like <clears throat> for me eh, this is how i view marriage okay one you two are friends mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. number two is not a competition we are partners so what 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 are we fighting nani anapewa kikombe hapa if we are arguing right now who will get the the utmost uh, uh, trophy and go with it so that the nation of kenya knows that you have won the argument no one so fight fairly open your eyes see that is truly here i missed you my husband i owe you an apology and it will not happen again please keep me in check imesha and you see with an apology with an apology what it does it cools your your your, your anger hey, when apology comes out yes. and someone owns up ina kutuliza and a man also it doesn't demean you or make you lesser a man when you accept that you are wrong true yeah. we believe you got something tonight we believe that something came into you you just got something tonight mm -hmm. wow we believe you've been blessed we believe that you just had a wonderful program with us we are so excited please again again go to our youtube channel and subscribe and just hit the bell button make sure you're part of this go to rev beer karma and sound of abundance on facebook go to rev beer, rev beer karma on, on on youtube go to instagram rev beer karma go to tiktok tiktok rev beer karma go to uh twitter, to twitter rev beer karma go mm -hmm. to uh juliet juliet bernard karma on youtube on youtube on facebook on facebook the same instagram the same and tiktok the same yes we believe you've been blessed and as we always say as long as you're not dead there is hope for your tomorrow and keep watching so tv touching lives the power of love god bless you shalom bye for now